home. We're getting a little bit of a break from the rain, but it's going to be short lived, isn't it? Yeah, really short lived. Uh, the rain, we're already watching it come back on the radar. So thankfully, right, I know, right? <laughs> Oh, we were so close. One last little system sweeping through over the weekend. That's going to be our final push of wet weather, at least uh, for the time being. Here's the big picture set up that area of low pressure off to our north. We're mainly dry for the rest of today as warm and humid air continues to move into the region. I'm sure if you stepped outside today, you felt it. It feels like spring outside, but this is the next system we're watching down here in the Gulf. We have some more energy back off to the west, and when these two kind of combine, that's going to be our system that moves through tomorrow, bringing us some showers and maybe even storms. But for today, we're seeing peaks of sunshine out there. You can see that clearing on visible satellite. A nice day shaping up. It's warm and it feels like spring. These are April uh, springtime temperatures when we'd see an April 71 in Reedsville right now, 70 for Martinsville, upper 60s for the rest of us. We're all going to make it into the low 70s later on today. What probably is most notable though is it feels muggy outside. We usually don't have to talk about that in January, but it is humid with dew point values in the low 60s. Those are springtime numbers, and this is unusual weather for us. So today across the region, low 70s for the Piedmont Triad, foothills and mountains staying with a few more clouds in the 60s all day. Overall, I think we see more clouds than sun, but I certainly expect a few peaks of sunshine uh, throughout the rest of the afternoon. An isolated shower could maybe develop uh, on the back side of this, but overall not expecting much rain today. Tomorrow is when we're really going to get soaked. So let me show you future cast here. Mostly dry for the rest of today. Maybe a blip on the radar, a brief little uh, light shower at times, but really not expecting much. By Saturday morning, though, we're waking up to showers in the area and cooler too. Temperatures are going to be down in the 50s. Uh, showers in the morning time, and then that rain really becomes more uh, widespread and steady by the afternoon time. This is seven o'clock during, during the evening. After dinner time, you see some pockets of heavy rain, maybe even some thunder with this that continues through Saturday evening and into Saturday night. We don't start to dry out until Sunday morning uh, around sunrise, but once we begin to dry out and the system moves off and some cooler, drier air moves in, we're going to see the sunshine come back to the forecast for Sunday. We're also going to see some mountain snow showers on the back side of this. How about that? Keeping a close eye on the potential for maybe some flooding, ponding on the roadways and stuff. You know, we've had a few rounds of rain over the past few days and another inch with tomorrow's system uh, could certainly help rise those levels of creeks and streams, create some ponding on the roadway. So we're going to keep a close eye out for that. Overall, I think an inch or maybe more is likely from this system coming through uh, tomorrow and then tomorrow night as well. That's why the Weather Prediction Center here has placed us in a level two risk uh, for some isolated instances of flash flooding. We'll keep you updated on that. Here's your weekend forecast across the entire area. Uh, rain and storms possible tomorrow. Sunday is cooler as we dry out with some snow showers for the mountains. A sunny conditions return early next week and we're feeling more like January and February as well with highs in the low 50s.